Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. Uh, as you can see, I have done a little bit of work on the steel line here. It's not going as efficient as I was hoping it was going to be. Uh, I decided to split the two lines up, so we're just doing plates and parts over there because we don't really need the ingots for anything at this moment. Uh, the reason why I did that is because this side here, for some reason, it was only favoring one side. I was only making plates. I wasn't making any of the parts. Uh, Efficiency wise, uh, this blast furnace is holding everything up. Like if you look at the coke oven, the coke oven's full of coal, or coke, I should say. Uh, the arms, I did upgrade the arms to steel. Same with the conveyors, and it has been helping out a little bit. Uh, did do some research. Uh, I did get the basic mach basic machines too. I got the, the logistics too, and I even got the heat generation too. Now. This is actually doing a little bit better. When I first put these in, they were sort of struggling with getting enough heat to generate the, the kinetic. So it was sort of holding up, but it seems to be doing okay. But we are definitely taking in more ore than we're processing. So I'm going to double this up and hopefully I can get this blast furnace going a little faster because it's basically waiting for the dust to go through. So this is going to be fairly simple to do. I'm just going to go ahead and double it up right here. Um, what else was I going to do? Oh yeah, there was a few other th things I did too. Uh, I researched the, the mixer. I don't know if I can find it in this long list here, but I got the mixer taken care of. I got... Uh, there was a few other things I... Just basic stuff, stuff, that, stuff that's like not really important. But what I want to get into doing is getting up an area, getting an area set up to mass produce all the, the building blocks. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly double this up and I'll bring you back when that's done. Yes, yeah, you can see the mixer right here. I got that unlocked. I wanted to get that going because one of the things I want to start doing is uh, getting the concrete going, which is actually fairly cheap to do. It's just uh, limestone, stone, and water, and get your concrete. I've heard the texture isn't the greatest, but uh, we'll see. There's also uh, the tile versions of it, too. Uh, I wouldn't do want to have two separate areas for this. I want to have one for, like, the, the redstone, the dark stone, regular stone, and all the terracotta, and I'm going to have another area just for the concrete. Um, but one thing I do want to do is I want to get some other research going because I want to replace these coke ovens, or not coke ovens, the blast furnaces. So I'll get some steel production going, and go ahead and start that. I did make a whole bunch of circuits. Uh, I don't know how many of these I have left to actually process, uh, but one of the things I was going to actually automate was uh, getting the circuit boards made, so in that way it's always there. So I still got some seven in there, and I'll need a few more. So let me see, do I have any wood on me? I do not have any wood. This is where automation comes in handy. Definitely. Oh, I know where I can find wood. Actually, there's wood over here. Well, he's right behind me. All right, so we can go ahead and make, uh, go ahead and make a stack of those. And I'll continue back doing this. Okay, so I got it done, and it seems to be working. Uh, it seems to be holding up. Uh, there is a bit of a backup here because we've got to speed this thing up, definitely. Uh, I've done the same thing with the other side here, so hopefully that's going to hold up. Uh, as far as the heat goes, I do know that. Let's get away from those, they're loud. I do know these furnaces are producing 33.2, so that's pretty good. And I'm looking at a usage right now, we're peaking around 110. So we're not too bad right now. Uh, looks like our, we're producing more than we're consuming, so it's it's not too bad. Uh, we will expand this later. Like I said, we got these extra furnaces we can put in, and at the same time too, we can always upgrade those because now we got steel. And research is complete on the the do blast furnaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a few of those right now. Uh, missing stone. Do I have any stone nearby? No, I don't. Uh, that's going to be over here, and then we'll start getting all that going. Oh, that's going to hurt. Actually, no, it won't. Okay, so one and two. Oh, no, no, we're not making that. We're making that. We're not making the arc furnace yet. We will soon, though. All right, so this is pretty much done. I just got to switch these furnaces over. I think the, the coal, the, the coal cloak should hold up. Uh, we shall see. We can always upgrade those if we need to, but we'll see how it holds up. Uh, this does definitely seem to be the bottleneck, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, so... Um, 
let me finish and replace those and then we'll get on to today's build okay i'm back uh let's level two while we're waiting while we're doing all this stuff we've got some little research we can do we're going to start with the decorative concrete we're going to let that go that'll get us concrete tiles and reinforce concrete tires tiles which will unlock decorative concrete three or two which will get us the small tiles and then go three and that'll get us the the bricks and that way we got a whole bunch of variety to work with at the same time too i may look at getting the the casings going this is the steel here that's the copper there is also a rusty copper casing uh but i don't actually have that unlocked yet uh, yeah it should be in here uh but yeah so uh what i'm gonna do is i actually do want to have I want to have a miner set up for the redstone, dark stone, regular stone, and then for the, the clay, we don't, by the way, this is actually the, the clay tile, I like how he's gone and g gave it like, giving it like this pattern look. It's not bad. I hope he comes up with some more variations on it, that would be really handy. Uh, but yeah, so basically we got the the tiles and then we got the bricks. So the tiles are just basically the terracotta, which I'm gonna also have. So the terracotta goes through a saw, becomes the tiles, and then goes through the saw again, becomes the the bricks. Uh, currently there is no actual clay automation, that's why I have all this here, plus I have some other stuff that basically works out uh, one to one ratio. You take this, you run it through coke oven, get you terracotta, which is that one there. And then... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then take the terracotta, you run it through a saw, it gets you the terracotta tiles, which is the pattern one. Then you run through that through a saw again, and you get the bricks. So that's what we're going to do with that. Everything else just comes off the miner. So I do have to grab these miners here because I'm not actually going to use this setup anymore. Let me just take these out, and I'm also going to, as you can see by the heat pipes, I'm going to have this all hooked up on this network. And see. Just see how well it works. Uh, I guess we're taking those engines too. All right, now it's a matter of getting it sort of lined up here. So I'm coming straight off with the conveyors. And what I might do, because I think I might have the edge of it here. I have made a uh, eight shelves. I will basically need for everything. Yeah, I could basically have them spaced two two blocks apart. Uh, I don't know how much room I'm going to need, so I'll probably just line it up about here. I'm thinking about doing sort of like a, a shed sort of idea, you know, sort of covered but open on the face. And then, uh, actually, I was not going to do it this way. I was going to do it completely different. I was going to have it going into an item rack which feeds, it, feeds into a chest so I can actually take them out one by, take them out by single stacks. So let me get some chests made and I'll be right back. Okay, I have them ready, and for some reason it's getting dark again already. My, how the time flies. Alright, so yeah, I wanted, uh, on this side I believe there was going to be nine of them. Let's go to the decorations here quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then just plain terracotta, it'd be nine. Is that right? Yes. So I do have to make one more steel shelf, which I am short on wood. Uh, there's got to be a farm around here somewhere. I may leave this this uh, section set up. I have no idea. I'm just got to go ahead and make one more steel shelf, and then we can go and get this all set up. All right, so we're going to take our shelves. Um, doesn't really have to be centered, I guess. We'll rotate it like so. Uh, got to have a little bit of a space, two-block gap. Basically, I'm going to have the arm inside the wall and then the chest on the outside of the wall and a block on top just to... Give me a, an idea of what's there. So if I have the chest there, and then I'll just go back to like that. And then we'll go like this. And this is all the space I really need because I'm just using the saws. That's all I need. And they, all they need is the uh, the Sterling engine on the one side. All right, so is that all of them? That's one. Okay, and then we'll put the other one over here. And chest in the front. Like so, put the arms in the back, and then it's just a matter of getting the machines up and feeding the conveyors to where I want the miners. Uh, I'd like to have the conveyor line straight if I can. So we're going to do it this way, like so. And this is just, like I said, so I can take sing single stacks out for now without having to click one. Uh, I click and then click and click and click. This way I can just shift click like three or four stacks and get them out of the way. 
All right, it's getting dark. We're going to do this. So on the back side, uh, the back side, I need to make a whole bunch of cutting machines, which I forgot to do, and Sterling engines. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I was looking at the recipes, and uh, apparently it's going to take about five seconds to cut the blocks, and the miner does about a block every five seconds. So I went ahead and made six more miners, and I made a whole bunch more conveyors. I don't know why those aren't stacking. And uh, yeah, we're going to go with that way, just because we can. So it's going to be basically the same layout. Uh, this side is going to be the coal, or the terracotta. So then I'll start with uh, stone tiles and then stone bricks and so on and so forth. So on the first one here, uh, I'm going to use robot, uh, uh, copper arms with everything. So this one is only going to be going through one cutter. This one's going to be going through two cutters. So this will be the stone tiles, this will be the stone bricks. And then we've got to have the same thing for the dark stone and then like so and like that and like that. Uh, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. What else am I missing? Or something else I was missing, what was it? Oh yeah, there's gonna be three separate for the terracotta, so we'll... Might not automate that yet, cause uh, we gotta get some automated mining going first. And then from here, it's just placing a whole bunch of cutters down. Cutter there, cutter there, and there, and there, and there. And you get the idea. That's why I only need one block gap because the sterling engine just has to go on this side. And then from here, I realized I put too many cutters down. We'll just get those out of the way. And then from here, it's just running conveyor lines over to that very end. Now, fortunately, I do have a lot of them. Let me just click and drag and head off into the wild blue yonder, or the wild basalt yonder in this case. And then what I plan on doing is putting these conveyors in a place, like where am I here? Which one am I coming off of? Coming off the first one. Uh, so basically it's gonna dig out the area so I can make sure the miners are sitting flat, like so. And just occurred to me too that these are three blocks wide. Hmm. Well, you know what that means. Take everything apart, oops, space it out one more extra block, and place everything back down. Alright, so now I can go over here, and I uh, have been making some more conveyors. I'll probably have to make a whole bunch more, but that's fine, because I, like I like my conveyors. Alright, so now I should be able to place the miners down, and the miners should line up just perfectly. And then uh, I'll just use the conveyors to bring everything else in. But I think that one should connect, or at least place. And let's see there, so that's four. I need one more on the other side, but this one can go here, if I can get it, yes. And the other one is gonna have to be, probably, probably easier if I just do it the other way that I was doing it before. There's that minor. Yeah, so now I just gotta bring the conveyors over. Okay, I am back. So I got all six lines running out to all six miners over there. Uh, what we do have to do is get some heat out there, which we'll do in just a minute. Uh, what I do have to do is figure out, first of all, see what I actually have for pipes underneath here. Absolutely <coughs> nothing. I'm sorry. Sorry for the coughing, but uh, what I want to do is I want to, like I said, I want to get everything off of this heat network. Uh, I've been thinking about it. I'm going to be taking that greenhouse and turning that into lumber production. Uh, we're not actually going to use that to fuel the system anymore. Uh, what I do need to do is figure out where my pipes are. Unfortunately, I didn't actually make the subfloor like I wanted to. So let's see what we got here. Oh. So that one is nowhere near connected to the other one. Now what do I have that connected? That is going to that, the atmospheric condenser. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pipe here and connect it all the way over to the other side there. Which should be fairly easy, because I do have the blocks to do it. And just run over here like so. Hopefully not fall off my platform. Come on, there you go. Alright, uh, let's see here. I 
Actually, I'm wondering if it would be easier just to connect to the other side there. Uh, let's deselect that. So if I can connect over there, that would be even better. So we can go over here and I can take, take that whole power setup out. Okay, I got it. And then we go over here and... Oh, we connect it there. So now, everything should be on the same network. So we have much higher storage, we have... Pretty high production, apparently. Oh yeah, because it's got to fill up all this extra pipe now. That's right, so that is all set. So now I can go ahead and take this one out to the miners. Uh, this one I'm just going to run right across, just because I can. I do have to dig out behind there, though. It is getting dark. Oh, I did not make that. Anyway, so uh, let me run the pipe over and bring it back today, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the heat pipes in, so all I got to do is put the Sterling engines on here. Just one on each is all we need. Uh, they're not going to start mining yet because I haven't configured them. And I don't want to configure them until I have everything set up over there. Uh, also, too, apparently there's lava here. Doesn't really no actual use for it. I'm wondering if it could be used as a heat source, but currently it doesn't actually affect me. I don't know if the developer ever has plans on having any player damage in. But there we go. I can get everything. Oh, there's actually aluminum here. Let's see what's over on this side, just for the sake of it. Ah, more of them. Uh, we don't need that yet, but there are definitely... Uh, oh, it's actually on a little deposit. What do you know? Oh well. We'll grab that later. Uh, let's get out of there, and... So that is good. All we have to do now is get uh, the rest of this stuff all set up. I'm going to have to make more heat pipes, so that's going to take some time because I don't have any plates, so i got to make the plates myself because my machines, are, my machines are slow and I've been using a lot to make a lot of conveyors. So I'll be back. Okay, so i got all the heat pipes installed. I, it was actually pretty easy. I had the pipe right here, so I just went uh, sort of attached the side there, walked across, and it placed it all underneath for me. And I let it go there, and I could just build off of there, and so on and so forth. Uh, I am making a whole bunch more, because we're going to need a lot more. So, yeah, it's just a matter of doing this. Like, a s oh, not there. 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 A couple more. Oop. There, there. I do have all this on copper tier, too, because this doesn't have to be, like, high-volume mass production, but we are good to go. So, now we just go back over here, and we set everything up. And up we go, and we go here. Go set this to stone. We'll set you to stone. You to redstone. You to redstone. I'm sure there's a more efficient way of doing this, but I like going over the top like this, just because I can. So there we go. Our stone is coming out. It's going to take us some time to get to the end and get all cut up and processed. Uh, so far as the clay goes, um, uh, developers have been talking about getting a filtration system set up, so it's going to be recycling ore water and giving us clay out of it. So um, we should be able to get a, a more regular supply of it uh currently i have to mine it but i got like 1400 there but basically all we got to do is just got to run this stuff through a coke oven which i have i have one of them i might be able to have, have a few of them kicking around i got two of them right here and do i have the inventory space to take that out probably not oh wait yeah i do never mind because we don't need this anymore uh, this is all on the same system. It should be. Let's see if I can find that heat pipe. Actually, yeah, it's over here. So as you can see, this is all on the same grid. So I can take these out, and we'll need that farm for later. And so that gives me three coke ovens. I got arms. I got conveyors. We just need a little bit of morning light here. And then go over here. I probably got, should set these up while I can. So basically what I was doing, I was taking that out, taking that out. Oh, that one too, but these two as well. And that's an autosave. Could tell I've been busy when it starts lagging like that. And then all I really did is I just took my heat pipe, came off the side there. Whoop. Not fall in the hole. 
like so and presto so basically what's going to do is this one's just going to be straight up unprocessed uh uncut terracotta this is going to be terracotta tiles this is going to be terracotta bricks and then just a few more of these like so and so now for the coke ovens so for the time being they are going to be uh, manually fed by me and a few robots and this actually works out for having this uh, three block spacing yeah you can go there and then you can go there and you can go there now arms one there one there a couple more in the back and then I'm just gonna have these feeding out through chests for the time being and I'll just split up you know however many so it goes equally all right so that should be the terracotta line uh, what do i have for chests i have three copper chests it just so happens one two three all right so that is a uh, terracotta line be a little while before that yet here so now we go over here and see if i can make some of my inventory let's actually do that Okay, so I'm just putting the last of the clay in, and as you can see, all the stone has arrived. That is good. And what I've done is I've put basically 15 stacks into each. And that's just for now. Oh, missed that one. This one actually has 14 stacks, but that is going to be turned into terracotta. And this one goes into there. This one will get cut up once, go into there. This one will get cut up twice and go to there. So that is going to be the building blocks. So now for a wall. And I've been thinking... Almost wanna. Oh, there we go. We got terracotta going now. I almost wanna go with a wooden back wall. Now we gotta go and find some wood. I think I can find some wood somewhere. I'm actually gonna take it out of this chest here, or if I have any others. Oh, there we go. In fact, what I can do, I'll sort all that later. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some planks, which are here. And uh, I'll actually get some building materials together and I'll bring it back. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I think I'm going to go with the wood backdrop. I was originally going to go with the, the red brick, but the red brick, because the fact that we have red brick here, you know, kind of blend in a little too much. So I've gone with a, a wooden front face. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go with the brick on the back. Now I do want to sort of have like a back wall. I think I'll probably have it right where these uh, these arms are. Now this is what I like about the, the whole building setup he's got here. You can actually click and drag and go right across. And wherever it can place a block, it will. Wherever it can't, it won't. Yeah, we'll stay with this. So I'm going to go across. Like, I'm going to build up a wall, I think three blocks high in the back. And then go down the sides and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm just about done here. I just decided to put a couple of windows on the side here, just so when we do expand, we can look inside. I put some lights in there, so when it does get dark, at least we can see. And I'll show you the front in just a second. Uh, just, like I said, I'm making these windows. Uh, that's another thing I want to do, too, is uh, get the glass automated. That is fairly simple to do. It's just a matter of a stone through stone through a macerator, through a macerator again, I believe. Uh, stone through a master to get you gravel, gravel through a master to get you sand, and then sand goes into a furnace to get you glass. So there we have it. There is the inside, and here is the front. Uh, I was thinking about trying to get some girders in. I didn't really know what I was going to do with it, but uh, this is definitely a start. Gets us all our materials. Uh, terracotta has run out. I've used a lot of the bricks, as you can tell. We got, do have some tiles. We do have some straight-on terracotta. And so far, stone, uh, dark stone tiles are coming in, red stone's coming in, and uh, of course the regular stone is coming in. So I think we're going to call this one here, uh, this is one of the setups I was going to do today, it's probably about time on the episode. Uh, uh, next one we'll take care of getting the wood production and the concrete going, that was actually somewhere I wanted to go today, but uh, you know, little things, but uh, anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.